Hello there, my name is Ezra Hall and I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to use Facebook efficiently. This is how you do it. Many of you have probably heard of Facebook before and many of you probably already have Facebook accounts. But now I'm going to show you how to use it more efficiently with your time. Alright, so we're going to go in here. I like to use Google Chrome because it rocks and it's awesome. So here it goes. It's going to open. It's going to open automatically to Google. And everyone has heard of Google. Everyone knows what a Google is. We don't need to go into that. Now I have this little link up here. It's a it's it's a it's a a quick link to Facebook www.facebook.com and I'm going to click on that and see if you already have a Facebook account it's going to automatically go into your profile just like that see that there's a little delay there I'm not sure why and now you get to see all these weird pictures and all these weird statuses of people in your life and they they're your friends is what you call them. And you can just scroll down, and, and you can even make a comment, you know. Uh, let me find somebody that's worth commenting on. Uh, there, here's my status right here. I made this earlier today. And uh, we're going to keep scrolling down. All right. All this interesting gibberish and funny pictures and gossip that people like to do. And this is Facebook. Okay. So that's Facebook. You can even like certain products. You see, recommended pages. On this page, it's Mountain Dew because one of my friends liked it. And I can like it too. It gives me that option. So Facebook can decide to give me different advertisements on the side of the web page. And see here, there's a chat box. And these are the people that are currently online. And so if I wanted to say, if I wanted to say hello, uh, Jared Hall, he's a friend of mine. He's my cousin. And I say, hi, Jared. How are you doing today? Question mark. You see that little chat bar? It shows like all this stuff that uh, that I just texted. And if Jared is online, he can chat chat back with me. But, oh, see that? It says that he's typing back. And now, oh, see, he replied. He said he's doing pretty darn good. Oh, he's typing something else now. Okay. And yourself. Okay, so now he asked me. So I'm going to say, oh, I'm doing pretty darn good. I am making a tutorial for Facebook right now. And you are the star. He's going to get a big kick out of that later, I promise you. Alright, so now that I showed you the chat box, I'm going to show you the notifications. Now, see here, it says I have one notification. I'm going to click on that, and that means this one friend likes something on my wall. This was a song. And this was a song that one of my friends uh, uh, t uh, shared with me. I'm not going to listen to that right now, because I already listened to it earlier. I'm going to go back to my homepage. Looks like Jared texted me back. I'm going to click on that. How is that working? Hmm. Well, the tutorial is working very well. Exclamation mark. You will see later. Alright, now I'm done talking with Jared. Now what you can do is your friends will continue talking to you. And they won't leave you alone. All you got to do is you can click this little Xbox right here. It closes them. And now you can act like they don't even exist. So you don't even have to continue talking to people on here. It's really good socialization. And up here you have a message box. See, normally a little uh, arrow will pop up above, like on my notifications, if it says I have a new uh, message. But I don't currently have a new message. And this is my friends. These are people that want to be my friends, but I haven't accepted them yet. Oh, look. Looks like Jared popped back up again. Oh, you will like it, I promise. Winky face. Alright, well that's pretty much all that Facebook is all about. I mean, there's a bunch of other apps over here on the other side. You know, you can tell people what kind of music you like, what kind of photos you like. Uh, you can even poke people, which is kind of stupid. It doesn't even do anything. And there's a bunch of apps and games, which is stupid because it bogs your internet down. You can write notes, which is really stupid. Unless you want to share your notes. You can ask questions and my phone is ringing. I don't know why it always has to ring when I'm recording videos. Nice stupid alarm clock. Alright, stop. Alright, now my phone is shut up now. Oh, look, I got a new note notification. I don't even know who that person is. See, Facebook is really interesting. If I wanted to make a new status, I could say, This is a new status. I am making a tutorial for Facebook and post that. There we go, just like that. And it's perfect, you know, and now everybody in the world can see that I'm 
doing this right now. Very good socialization. Also makes great topics for gossip. And these are all my people online. And Jared talking to me again. Sweet lol. He's going to like this, I promise. Alright, well, I guess that's pretty much everything. I mean, Facebook is pretty stupid. I mean, oh look, Blake. See this? Blake liked my uh, my uh, comment here. See? Now you can click on that to direct me co uh, directly to the um, the place. And my internet's being stupid. Because it's not loading. Load, hurry up. There we go, there it goes. Alright, well, I guess that's pretty much everything. I mean, there's nothing else really on Facebook that's even worth looking into. So, um, I, um, I'm gonna close the box now. There we go. Now they think I'm ignoring them because I closed the box. And, uh, yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much it. That's the tutorial on Facebook. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please continue to share this, um, because if you share this, then I can make money on YouTube. And I can even give you a tutorial on YouTube, but we're not gonna do that right now because this video is gonna take forever to upload on YouTube anyway. So, um, I'll talk to you later. Thank you very much, and thanks for listening. If I can find the stop button here.